Hollywood actor Orlando Bloom is back once again with another season of fantasy series Carnival Row. During an exclusive conversation with Weon's entertainment editor, Abira Da, the actor talked about the latest project. Listen in. Hi, Orlando. Uh, hello, Abira. Oh, welcome to Weon. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, let's start with this. You know, the show Carnival Row. Mm -hmm. Why about this fantasy world you know where humans and creatures are clashing right. but doesn't it feel real like super real as in what's happening in this real world today tell me how much do you relate to it yeah I think um I think the the, the kind of wonderful thing about um uh the show of Carnival Row is that we could address and actually in some ways, unintentionally. I mean, uh, the das boot, uh, the, the 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 sort of das boot, uh, the the illness that comes through the road, the different things that mirrored life, were story plots and storylines that came into the show uh, before, like something like COVID, that we actually ended up having to shut down because of. So, it's very interesting how art and life mirror one each other, and sometimes, of course, things are intentionally kind of. Uh, brought into the storylines because we can comment on, you know, a societal issue, which is a lot of what I think the show was trying to do, which is a very noble ideal. You know, a lot has changed in your life and in this world since mm. Carnival season one came out. Right. And then you guys started shooting Carnival Row 2. How much, like, how was the transition from Carnival 1 to Carnival 2? It was quite challenging because, of course, um, we were um, we we were almost at the end of like we would gotten a, 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 through a lot of season two, and then we went into lockdown, um, and it was you know as as it was for everywhere around the world a very unique experience that we were all um, you know navigating and challenged by, but um, but ultimately I think um, that also gave us. Uh, and I think, you know, the show, the opportunity to breathe and look at what, you know, we were trying to, to to land. And so in some ways, there was a bit of a blessing there for us, because I think season two is, um, you know, Eric Olsen, who who came in and uh, showrun, uh, took over as a showrunner on this season two, did a fantastic job of just looking at all of the material and then going, OK, well, where can we kind of improve this and how can we add to this you know life is messy the love lives of characters is unique and I think in the world that's true too there's no you know you show me a you know like a, a family and I'll show you a history and a, and, and a you know and a and a and a, a sort of the skeletons in any closet of life or relationship so I think that's one of the things that we get to explore in this and that I that I love about the show, actually. And before I say goodbye to you, uh, we are waiting to see you in India because Katie has been to India so many times. You have mm. been one. Mm. We should see you more often here. It's true. Well, I'd love to come out there. We'll, we'll, we'll have to get that in the diary. I do <laughs> love it in India. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You.